Today I thought I would share a quick collective haul. It's really only from two stores. It is Tuesday morning and Michael's. That's my dog Nick in the background whining because I'm not paying attention to him. Anyway, the first thing I got at Tuesday morning was this um, ink pad. It's from Ranger. It's $1.99. It's normally $4.99. Um, I really only use like three stamps um, in my planner, so I thought this was a good deal. Um, and the one I bought from the dollar store was, it worked fine, but the case around the actual ink pad was higher, and so you couldn't push down the stamp um, with the block on it, if that makes sense. So I decided to get a new one, and I know Ranger is a good brand, so I picked it up second thing I got was another planner. It's ridiculous, I know. I think this was $9.99. I took the sticker off. I'm pretty sure, but it's so pretty. It says, you can't rain on a mermaid's parade. It goes from August of this year till 2018, December 2018. And it's just really pretty, and I think I'm going to use this as my daily um, planner. But it's really pretty, and um, I don't know, when I saw it, I couldn't resist. And the artwork for each month is really pretty. And it has a quote on each month. Just nice. And I wanted it, so I picked it up. What I initially went in there for was I was there a few weeks ago and I saw that they had happy planners but they were the dated ones and I was like eh I have an undated one um, so I actually think I'm gonna start using this one even though I don't use my happy planner as a date book per se I still thought I could start using this one and it's the horizontal layout which I use it for more like a kind of um, a weekly like check-in so I like to decorate the weeks and then I like to go back and I'll either write quotes that inspire me or I write down my plans for next week or my plans for the next month and this way as opposed to the vertical layout of the happy planner gives you actually a lot more space to write um, oh wait that's the monthly layout here we go this is the like vertical layout of the weeks and this is the horizontal layout and you can actually write because it gives you lines. So I thought that was really cool and I'm probably going to start using this one in December um, because it's for this year. And I, these aren't going to go to waste. I will actually probably take these out and move them around at some point. And like I said, I don't use the dates, so I can always cover them with washi or paper or anything like that. I'm not a fan of these pink rings either, but you know, I'm going to make a new custom or a new cover for it, anyways. So I feel like I can always exchange the rings on this one with the rings on the gold rings that I already have, or even maybe buy some new rings um, with like a Michaels coupon. So that's all that I got at Tuesday morning. Nothing exciting. I went to Michaels and these little thin washies were on sale for $1.99. I want to say they are... $4.99 originally. They were on clearance and the packages were all kind of like torn up like they were taping them and stapling them back together but I realize I don't have any like white um not white yellow washi in my collection and I like thin washi for places that you only want to cover up a little bit um so yeah I picked that up. The other two things are paper pads and I really am trying to be good about buying paper but it is my weakness. So, and these were $7, which isn't the cheapest you can get them. I want to say you can get them for like $4.25 at their lowest. These are normally $19.99, and I would never pay that much for paper. 
I don't care how pretty it is. Actually, I say that, but I think if this one had never gone on sale, I probably would have sucked it up and bought and paid the $20 for it. It is so pretty and new agey and there's crystals and there's moons and it's just amazing. The next one I got, oh, and that one is actually called Aurora. If you want to look it up at your Michaels, it's by Craftsmith. It, they're all together in this like section and it'll say hot buy, but they're not always for the hot buy price of like four and five dollars. And I actually paid seven dollars. I don't know if I said that. Seven dollars for these. And this next one I also couldn't resist. Fala la la llama. I probably added too many laws. It's also by Craftsmith. And it's Christmas, it's llama themed Christmas paper. Here's something else. I bought this a couple weeks ago and I actually bought it with a 50% off coupon and it's the only item that I went in there to buy. Um, I think it's $19.99 originally. It is a tab punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. Yes, that's the brand. Um, yeah, and you can punch like tabs for tab dividers um, for anything really. You can make file folders with it. You can make uh, dividers for your planner, um, dividers for school, anything you want. But today I'm gonna use it because it's also a corner rounder and my regular little corner rounder punch has been acting up lately. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl today and see how it does against my regular punch. So that's it for my haul and now we are gonna move into the crafting part where I will, yeah, show you how to make a custom cover for your happy planner. <laughs> I'm going to use images today from this coffee calendar. I found this at the 99 cents only store. It was 99 cents and it has some pretty cute images. In the interest of time, I've already picked out the two that I wanna use. I'm going to use one for the front cover and one for the back cover. I'm going to use this one for the front and this one for the back. And then since this paper is kind of flimsy and because it has the calendar on the other side, I'm going to make like a liner paper. Um, so I chose this one. This is actually going to be the liner on the back cover. I thought it was really cute. It says, um, it has like little milk labels and one says coffee cream. So I thought that was fitting for a coffee themed um, planner cover. So it will go like that. I found this paper out of the Recollections brand. Um, paper stack called Farmer's Market and hopefully there's not a big glare on it for you but it's really cute and the next liner paper is actually going to be these flowers I think they're really pretty I don't think it has to be like matchy matchy if you want to use the same pieces of paper that's fine um, but there's similar enough colors that I think it goes together. I just really love this like wood grain and the flowers on top of it. And I got this paper from the Simple Stories Life in Color paper pad. There's actually a lot that are have the wood grain um, background. So I thought it was pretty. I'm dropping things everywhere. We're just going to start cutting your paper. And what I like to do is kind of center um, since it's obviously way bigger than 9 by 7. So you kind of want to center and I'd like to get the quote in but it's actually going to be too big. I think 
that is going to work. Now we're just going to do the same thing with the back cover. And I'm going to use a darker pen. So I can actually see my lines. I want that pretty art in there. I don't really care so much about the quote. Now I'm going to cut these two out and then I'm going to use them as templates to cut my scrapbook paper. So now I'm just taping these two pieces together and I'm getting them as straight as possible. If it's a little uneven, I'm just going to cut it off. But it's going to make it even and it won't slip when I cut it. Now they're both cut out and I think my blade or one of them needs to be changed because I end up using it more than the other and it kind of messed that up. But that's actually the side that I'm going to have my holes punched in and it's also going to be laminated so I think it's going to smooth out and kind of work out in the end. So now I'm going to round the corners. You don't have to, um, it's just a personal preference. I just like to, I think it looks neater and more finished. And then, I also like to punch the holes for the rings uh, before I laminate it. Oh, this is 
a mess. I'm going to clean this up with the scissors. So what I was saying was I like to punch my holes before I laminate it and then after I think it just makes the whole punching process easier and I don't have one of those fancy happy planner um, hole punches that's like the perfect size and everything because I think they're expensive and I wouldn't use it that much because I don't really put inserts and things into my happy planners. I would only be using it for the covers. So there you go. There are the covers. And yeah, I'm going to try and punch them all at the same time. I'm just going to line it up with my original one since it has the bigger punches um, as opposed to the actual Happy Planner um, holes, which I can show you really quick, are like more half circle shaped, but that's okay. So also make sure you line it up the way it's going to look. So this will be the front cover, the front inside cover, the back inside cover, and then the back outside cover. set my laminator up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I don't think it filmed the last clip um, because my battery died. So right now I'm on borrowed time. So quickly I'm going to, I already laminated the back cover, I'm going to laminate this one and then I'm going to punch my holes. Um, well, I'm going to trim this with the paper trimmer, I'm going to cut my holes and then I'm going to round my corners.
So there you have it. My covers. Just gonna pop these on there. Pretend it's perfect. So that is pretty much it. Sorry for the glare. I had to turn a light on because it is really cloudy outside. Also, those scratching noises, and if you ever hear chewing noises, it's because I share my craft space with my rabbit. Her name is Farah. She is a German lop-eared rabbit. Anyway, if you liked this, um, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and yeah, that's it. Talk to you next time. Bye.